Toyota Camry, Mitsubishi Galant, Mazda 626, the Subaru Legacy, and the Honda Accord. Back in the 90s, if you wanted a car with a little more grit every time you pressed on the gas pedal, and of course, something premium, you didn't really have much choice aside from the ones I mentioned. Unfortunately, time has proven that the car industry is a business in itself, and of course, the longevity of these cars really depend on how much people, or how many people, take them home. Nowadays, there aren't a lot of Japanese mid-size sedans available in the market today, but fortunately, we still have this, the Honda Accord. This in itself is a survivor, one of the only ones that are available around in the market today, and with a great-looking body and face like this, aren't you glad that it survived? Now, you're probably wondering why I'm dressed sharply today. First of all, I love it, and second of all, why not? My name is Jeff Bangsin and allow me to take you to this journey in getting to know the latest Honda Accord. This is philcochi.com, the number one car portal in the Philippines. denying that the front face of the Honda Accord looks like the father of the latest Honda Civic. It's classy and sporty at the same time, perfect for executive meetings in the morning and of course perfect for daytime come nighttime. Now of course it's a premium car so expect premium features from the top tier vehicle from Honda. Now what we have here of course are LED headlamps, LED fog lamps and LED DRLs. It's basically LED everything and aside from that we also have auto sensing front wipers and what this does is, of course, once it um, senses that there's rain, it automatically functions as well. Now, it also comes with the latest innovation from Honda. They call it the Collision Mitigation Braking System. Yes, major wordy, but what it does is it gives out audio and visual aids to the driver just in case it senses a possible collision. So, what this does is, in shorter terms, is it brakes on its own. Yes, when you have one, when you need it to. So, uh, modern cars are coming to us soon. And this is one good example. Now, moving on over to the engine of the latest Honda Accord. What we have here is the latest Earth Dreams technology from Honda. It's one of their newest systems that they put out. Now, what we have here is a 1.5 turbo engine that has around a power of 190 horsepower. We have around 250 to 260 newton meters of torque. And it should be enough to really pull its 1,476 kilograms of weight. I mean, after all, it is a turbo engine. Now, a lot of people had trouble thinking that, yes, it might not be as, as powerful as the previous generations, but it should really be enough to be enjoyed. Now, as for fuel consumption, in the city, we're getting an average of about 7.4 kilometers per liter. And as for the highway, we get a good 17 kilometers per liter. Yes, fuel consumption is not exactly the greatest, but honestly, after I've driven it, it's worth it. Now, for the wheel and tire setup of the latest Honda Accord, we have actually quite big tires and big rims as well. These are 18 by 8 machine forged tires, which I think is really nice looking. Like, ang ganda talaga niya. They're also fitted with 235-45 tires, Michelin tires at that as well. For the front, we have ventilated discs and for the back, you actually have disc brakes as well. It's pretty good considering the car has a front-wheel drive layout. Now, as we move on over to the side of the Honda Accord, we have premium features as well. For example, the door mirrors, they're auto-folding and they also have integrated signal lights. As for chrome styling, we have some on this sporty side skirt and some as well on the door handles. Now, the Accord obviously comes with a smart key or an eye key function, which means that if you come closer to the car, it automatically senses and actually turns on, well, actually unlocks its doors 
for the passenger or the driver as well. Now, one cool feature about this car is that on the other side, on the passenger side actually, I found this out earlier today as I was driving. When the left ko ng signal light, or actually when the right ko ng signal light, it automatically showed me a camera on the, on the radio or head unit function as well. Now, it's weird that it's only on the other side, but I guess it's for the, for the area that's farthest away from the driver. So I think that's really cool. Now, moving on over here, we also have a character styling that goes all the way from the front fender to the back fender. So I think that's really neat. Uh, gandang -ganda sa kanya actually. And um, one cool feature about this Accord as well is that it, it is, of course, a fastback. I love how the, the, the styling here goes all the way to the back and it seemingly meets the rear end of the vehicle as well. Now the rear of the Honda Accord is my personal favorite part of the car and a lot of people actually think that the back makes up for, the, any, for any lack of thereof, of any styling in the front. And as with the front, it also seems like it looks like the dad of a Honda Civic. Uh, but yeah, now let's move on to the features. For the features, we have really modern looking LED tail lamps that hug from around the fender onto the rear trunk, which I think is very nice as well. We also have standard rear view cameras and of course rear parking sensors. And aside from all of that, I think what's worthy to actually point out is this really nice modern uh, rear, rear reflective lights that are actually really thin, which really give off a futuristic look to this Accord. Uh, and on top of that, we also have dual functioning exhausts. They're actually functioning exhausts. They're actually connected to a real muffler as well, not like any of those faux exhausts that we see. So props to Honda for that. Now, as we look at the trunk of the Honda Accord, as you would expect from a premium vehicle, it's huge, really huge. It could fit about two or three golf clubs in here and about maybe a full-sized maleta for you and your family for your long road trips. Now, of course, to keep you safe, Honda has provided us with options such as, of course, the standard tire jack and also tools as well. And of course, a standard spare tire as well. However, the spare tire is not the same as any of the machine forged 18s that we have on the size, although, as it says, it's only for temporary use. Now, as we move on over to the interior of the Honda Accord, this, I think, is the best selling feature of this car because first impressions is that, kahit ako, I was very amazed. Once you sit in this leather seat, it automatically hugs you and kind of makes you feel like you're in a, an airplane, sort of. So, what we have here are very technol... Te actually, it's a very techy uh, dashboard. For example, we have an 8-inch head unit here, touchscreen head unit with Apple AirPlay, Android integration and all of that Bluetooth. We also have navigation to really guide you in your long road trips. We have automatic uh, aircon controls, dual aircon controls, which means the passenger can control their temperature and I can control my specific temperature. As for the gauge, I think this is one of the best features of the car because it's a semi-digital gauge, meaning that half of it is actually just a screen that functions or acts like an analog gauge. And the right is a real analog gauge. We obviously have temperature and fuel gauge um, systems as well. Now, one of the most premium features in this car is that it comes with adaptive cruise control. This is part of Honda's integration with their intelligent system. And what this does is, it doesn't function like a regular cruise control where in as a highway cam, cruise control ka, and what it does is it just matches your speed. No, the adaptive cruise control system, ang ginagawa nito is, even if you're not stepping on the gas, the car actually stops itself once it senses a car in front of you and then kapag umalis na siya, it'll again speed up. So it's basically like it's basically like the car is driving you to where you're going. You don't have to do anything. Although, of course, meron tayong uh, disclaimer that wag mo naman pabayaan yung kotse. Just, you know, keep 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 attention of what's happening and you know, just kind of still grasp of the of the of the of the management of the vehicle. Now, as for other things, we also have accessories such as of course, power folding side mirrors. All windows are power as well. We also have parking indicators or parking sensors wherein pag may lumapit sa'yo, the car actually gives out an aid that someone is near you. So, it's a very driver-oriented vehicle wherein once you feel like you're in the driver's seat, it's like everything is here just to serve you. We also have paddle shifters as well. So, meron siya, parang manual mode ni, ni Accord yun. And aside from that, we also have economy mode and sport mode. And what I like about sport mode is that once you press on it, the whole screen automatically turns red as if you know as if you're really about to make the most out of its power and we also have a lot of, of steering wheel um, 
steering wheel options or, or systems right here wherein we have volume, we have home button, we have there's just really too much here, which I think is really cool but a bit complicated for some people. So it really depends. Now, as for any cigarette lighter or power outlets or any of that, we have a USB charger here, which is in charge of the Apple AirPlay or Android integration. We also have a power outlet here. And right here in the glove box, we actually have another USB outlet. And back there, we also have two more USB outlets as well. So this car is really meant to, you know, protect you and keep you charged throughout your daily drives. And aside from all of that, we also have speak. We actually have eight speakers around this whole car. We have speakers on the side mirrors, near the side mirrors as tweeters down here, and then four or five more in the back as well. So for the second row of the Honda Accord, as you can see, there's enough space to really, you know, to really enjoy the cabin space or the second row of the Honda Accord. We have leg space, knee space, seating space, literally all the space that we need, and yet the front row is still comfortable. Uh, so it's not the car is not only driver oriented, but it's also passenger oriented as well. Meaning Honda fitted it with such features that everyone would feel comfortable, not only the driver. So for that, we also have rear air con vents in the back and a total of four USB outlets, two in the front and two in the back. So when Honda created this car, they really made it for the purpose that you know you could charge or keep your electronics uh, updated or really just enough to bring you out or, or, or make the most out of your workday. Aside from that, we also have very premium leather seats from the, from the front and to the back. Uh, the front seats are, both front seats are actually also automated as well, meaning it goes forwards, backwards, upwards, and downwards. So everything in this car is automated. Now we also have a feature here wherein we have an armrest and the armrest actually has integrated cup holders, two cup holders. So if you're out for a drink or you need coffee during your day, there's an area here where you can just put it here and you know, you'd be well off. Now, aside from that, yes, some people say that uh, some people might complain that there's not enough cargo space. Honda actually thought of that already. And what they have here actually is uh, are, are rear seats that actually fold down. And once these fold down, you can put surfboards or anything that you might like. So the car, yes, it is premium, but it's not only limited to being a premium vehicle. You can actually take it on your long road trips as well. Now, one premium feature that I actually really like is that when I was the a great signal light. Ako. And I was shocked because a camera suddenly showed up on the head unit, meaning the actual side mirror ng Accord natin, there's actually one camera. Uy! Uy! May tao? May tao? Yeah! Oh! Yeah! Oh! 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 Do you have insurance? Ka In insurance? Oh, oh. insurance. Why? 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 Gusto mo, punasan ko yung, ano mo, bintana mo, insurance kaya? Huwag na, huwag na. Pero ano bang insurance? Ano ba yan? Ano ba? Mukhang afford mo naman kaya, insurance kaya? Insurance? Ano ba yan? Ano yan? Makano yan? Teka, mukhang afford mo kaya, sakya mo kaya, sayang wala insurance yan. Teka nga, nga ba nito eh. Sige, ano ba yan? Um, MoneyMax is an online comparison platform for car insurance, credit cards, and loans. <laughs> They're also a licensed insurance broker partnered with the top car insurance companies in the Philippines. Established in 2014, MoneyMax aims to drive financial inclusion in the country by helping Filipinos compare and choose products to best suit their needs. They do an unbiased and free of charge. Visit www.moneymax.ph to learn more. Kaya yun lang kaya. Oh. Yeah. Oh, here na Money Max PH. Okay, kailangan niya, kailangan oh, ng mga tao sa buhayin ke, may sure. I heard Money Max has the best ones around nga daw. Oh, okay. Alam ko yun. Sige, sakay. Kaya ko yun, gusto mo? Tara. Pasok okay, ah. Tara. Tara, Tara. Pasok, okay. kaya lang. Okay. Sige. Anyway, as I was saying, one of the best features of this car is that when I was driving, there was a surprising uh, effect on me because as I was driving, I was ako. Once I hit the right signal light, it showed me this, this, this camera angle of what was on my right side. Ngayon, this is perfect for moments where you go to the lane. Of course, it acts as a lane assist system. Now, what's weird about this is that it only applies on the right side of the car. Now, on the left, wala siya. So, kind of weird, but again, we're blessed to even have it anyway. <coughs> So driving the Honda Accord has actually been a very pleasurable experience for me. I personally enjoyed it. I had a couple of days with it. 
And despite the 1.5 liter engine, I was actually surprised at how how quick and how strong the torque was. Meaning that if you put your foot down the pedal and actually you know gas a little more, you'll really feel the, the strength of the bi-turbo engine. Now as for steering, it does come with an electronic power steering, meaning it's very feather-like, very, very light. However, uh, don't get confused because despite how easy it is to handle such a big car, it is still a very big car, meaning that it kind of feels like a boat. It's very wide, very long, and I would get why some people would be a little bit worried about driving it. However, again, after a day or two with it, you really get used to how the Accord drives. Now, as for fuel consumption, Yes, we did say that we were getting 7.4 kilometers per liter, but we've been driving the car the whole day today. I was stuck in traffic this morning, and yet only one bar has actually disappeared. And keep in mind, we were also at sport mode at that. Now, for eco mode, of course, the car comes as a little bit of, a, of an economic car. It's a little bit more quiet, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit more subdued. And as you go into sport mode, it gives off a, a, quite a noticeable a noticeable roar or growl whenever you would step on the pedal. As for brakes, brakes are actually exquisite. They're top tier, very premium. If you need them to stop you, they will stop you. Even maybe, maybe, maybe even earlier than you would expect thanks to its forward collision or front collision um, warning assistance device. Now aside from all of that, we also have a lane assist system. Meaning that as with, aside from the cruise control, when you're in the highway and you're driving, it actually um, if you give it, if you give it, if, if you give it the authorization to, it'll actually keep you in lane or or move you towards the right lane. Everything that that's in this car is actually modern and futuristic, and Honda really stepped up in regards to that. I've driven other car brands of the mid-size Japanese tier, modern ones too, but I can't help but 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 think that the Honda Accord wasn't solely made for the passenger, but it was made for the driver as well to enjoy. Now we've seen the ins and outs of the latest Honda Accord and now it's time to give it our own grade. For aesthetics, based on the fact that yes, it is a premium yet sporty vehicle, still very beautiful in its class. I think one of the most beautiful uh, premium sized sedans that we have in the area today. Uh, and, uh, and due to the fact that of course we have LED DRLs, we have 18 for machine forged wheels, we have wooden trims and just a lot of aesthetics to go with the car. And for aesthetics, we are giving it a 5 out of 5. For practicality, we are giving the latest Honda Accord quite an average score based on the fact that yes, it is still a sedan but it is a sedan that can sit 4 to 5 people very comfortably. You have huge leg space, you have chargers all around, you have visors that could protect you. Uh, and as for fuel consumption, 7, 7 to 8 kilometers per liter in the city for a turbo engine is actually not bad in itself. So for practicality, we are giving it a 3 out of 5. And for performance, given the fact that yes, it is not a V6 Accord as compared to the previous generations, you're still getting a 1.5 turbocharged engine at 190 horsepower. So with that, I think it's well deserved given that you also have Eco Mode, you have Sport Mode, and the torque is just enough to really make the most out of your highway runs. So for performance, we are giving it a 4 out of 5. So as for value for money, the Accord is a little too expensive, but I guess it's expected because yes, it is the top tier vehicle of Honda. That's you know that's up there to really compete with cars like the Toyota Camry and other luxurious vehicles. So for a hefty price tag of about two million, um, there might be other options available. Although two million is definitely worth it for the features that it's giving you. So for value for money, we are giving it a three out of five. So in conclusion, for our Phil Kochi grade of the latest Honda Accord. We are giving it a 4 out of 5. In a world where executive sedans are getting boring, the Honda Accord actually holds its own. With the sporty yet luxurious vibe, I think it works well with the car. But hey, that's just me. As for power, yes, it doesn't hold the same power as Accords of the past, but it's definitely enough for you to consider if you're looking for an executive service or a family sedan. This has been Ref Mangsil bringing you the latest on the Honda Accord. This is philcochi.com, the number one car portal in the Philippines. Kuya, bring me home.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Filcoche, the country's number one online car portal.